it was kind of a normal weekend uh, during the summer after her graduation. Everything was well, and we got a very interesting phone call a little after six in the morning from her boyfriend Tanner, who said that he couldn't wake Kate up. Listening to him, Kate, Kate, do you hear me, Kate? Oh, my heart just sank. We ended up being directed directly to the hospital. And through the results of the MRI, we found out that she had an AVM. An AVM, or an arteriovenous malformation, is an abnormal tangle of blood vessels where the arteries and veins are connected in ways they shouldn't be. And that can cause problems by creating pressure in the brain where it shouldn't be. It can cause seizures, they can bleed, um, and they can be very dangerous lesions. I'm a dancer, and throughout my life, I've never had any signs of a seizure, nothing odd that kind of would allude to a seizure or anything like that. So it was very strange that I randomly had one. It left us speechless, like, how are we going to take care of this? Once we found Justin Kaplan, I immediately felt comfortable with him. He gave me so much hope and reassurance through the whole process. In Kate's scenario, we thought that taking out the AVM through surgery would be the best option. But given how much blood supply there was to the AVM, that would have been a very dangerous operation. And what we did is something called embolization. We go through an artery, either in the arm or the leg, to the brain, where we can get access to the arteriovenous malformation and start closing down the blood vessels so that we could make her surgery much safer for her. Her first embolization was on my birthday in November. Getting a birthday card from her that I still can't talk about. So I wanted to have just a little bit left to say, like, I love you guys and you guys mean a lot. Just because I wasn't sure. And now that card means a lot to my family. <laughs> Being diagnosed with a brain AVM or arterial venous malformation is a scary thing for anyone. Having a family with you who's helping you through this and caring for you and encouraging you, uh, I think it's very important for the patient. It's very important for us as well to get to know the patient's family because this isn't something that really one person can go through alone. Craniotomy literally means taking a piece of the bone off. And so what we have to do is we have to make an incision to get down to the skull where we take a piece of the skull off to get to the brain. And through that, we're able to get to the arteriovenous malformation and remove it or resect it. A brain AVM is really something that's best cared for at a specialized tertiary care center like Hopkins where we have a lot of experience uh, dealing with these. When I woke up from my surgery, I just felt so relieved, so happy, and kind of just proud of myself. I made it. <laughs> we got a call from Dr. Kaplan. He said, everything went well, and I've got somebody here that would like to talk to you. So she got on the phone. It was so good to hear her voice. The nurses and doctors at Hopkins just showered her with love. And during the time of COVID, that's exactly what we really needed to know that she was in good hands. They were that family for me during that time. Their support was more than words can describe. She had a follow-up angiogram with us a year after surgery that showed the AVM is completely gone. Uh, her brain looks great and I expect her essentially to have a cure at this point and to go on and, and live you know, the normal life that, that a young person in their 20s should, should be living uh, with really no expectation that this should impact the rest of her life. I actually found a love for the medical field after all my surgeries, just given the, the amount of care that Dr. Kaplan, his team, they made such an impact on my life that I want to make an impact on other people's lives. I am getting back into dance after all of my surgeries. It's been taking me a little bit of time, but I have no, no limitations or anything. I'm very blessed to be completely fine.